Hi guys, we just made it to Milan, so we are actually in our Airbnb right now and we're gonna give you guys a quick tour. We left the train station, it was so nice. It was like beautiful, one of the prettiest ones we've ever seen. And then it was only like a 15 minute walk and we only have one piece of luggage, so it was easy. <laughs> and then once we got here, the guy who was like helping us check in, the, the Airbnb is on the sixth floor and Jesus went into the elevator with the suitcase and I wasn't sure if it was gonna, we were all gonna fit or not. So I was like, it's okay, I'll just walk. And then the guy gets in the elevator. So then it's just me walking up six flights of stairs. So I'm a little winded and a little hot. Would it fail? I'm on like the second or third floor, but we're staying on the sixth. So I have quite a ways to go. The elevator already made it up. So gotta hustle, but everything's okay. Yeah, we'll just jump right into the tour. I'm actually in the bedroom right now because it has the best lighting. So we're gonna start here. Here is a little window with our view. It's pretty cloudy and kind of rainy, but it's nice. Here is the bedroom. It's a nice bed, some artwork, and some nightstands. Towels, of course. We have a dresser over here, a small one, and then a big one here. Lots and lots of storage space, which is always nice. We come this way, and then here's like our little eeny meeny tiny kitchen <laughs> with a trash can. At least it has a stove and a microwave, and those are must haves. And we're only here for about three days, so I don't know how much use we'll be getting out of this. Some more cabinets and storage space. Entrance is there, and let me, then let me go behind. the entrance is right here, and then this is the actual living room. But we actually have a guest coming to visit us. We have a friend, a really, really close friend of ours that will introduce her into the vlog a little bit later, but she's actually flying in from the US. She had a layover in Paris, so right now she's in Paris on her way here. She'll probably be here in the next few hours. So once she gets here, we'll introduce her but that is why we have an extra bed out here. It's just like a sofa bed. And then our friend, she actually used to be our roommate. So she has been in our vlogs before, like early, early on, like one of our, like our first vlogs. Um, that's when she was our roommate. So she's been on this channel before, but she hasn't been on here for like a long time, but she will definitely be in the next few videos, I think, cause she's gonna be staying with us for two whole weeks. So yeah, we, it'll be nice to have like a new face around here. And then the restroom. So here's a mirror sink, nice blue shower. There is only one shower and like toilet, but I think we'll make it work. Little mirror, for a second I thought there was two toilets, but it's just a little mirror with some more storage and a window. That is the tour for now. Um, we might go out, might not, might wait for our friend. We're not too sure what's going to happen, but yeah, we're excited to be here. We're excited to explore. It is actually Milan It is actually Milan Fashion Week while we're here, so I don't know if it's gonna be crazy. I think it started like a few days ago and it ends tomorrow on Sunday. So we're here the very tail end of it. So I don't know how crazy things will be, but if we catch any celebrities, we'll show you guys. Walking back down to the ground floor. So it's six floors that we have to walk down. First things first, we're gonna go look for some food, just like a little snack, a little something to hold us over for the next few hours while we wait for our friend. And then when she gets here, we'll probably go out to dinner. So yeah, we're not going anywhere fancy or anything crazy. We're literally just gonna walk outside of our Airbnb and see what we find. Oh, it's kind of raining a bit, so we've got our umbrella, but literally walking right outside our Airbnb is like this huge like farmer's market. So we're just walking down it, and it's like raining at like 3 p.m. So I'm surprised they're still open, but we're just gonna glance around, see what we find, and if we don't find anything, then we're gonna go look for some food. We're at this little cafe. We're gonna get us something to eat. I ordered a sandwich, a coffee, and Karen got some desserts. We're gonna share that right now. Got the goods. So I got this. It's like a little cannoli with like chocolate and some like chocolate sprinkles. 
and then this is, looks like a cookie and it looked really good to have with our coffee so I'm excited about this. Mm, this is bomb and we got some grandmother's cake too huh? Yeah I wonder what that's, I know it has whipped cream that's what the waiter said but I don't know if it's chocolate, vanilla, something special so that'll be interesting to see what we got mm. but yeah it's just a little bit of a snack to hold us over until we can go to dinner. <laughs> we were supposed to get a little snack and we got three desserts, a sandwich and two coffees. <laughs> So we have a little bit of a feast going on. Our tiny little snack turned into a whole lunch. This looks so good. Is it warm? We just killed the whole beast and Loki can get some more. Like I'm not that full. Like I can take down another coffee and another sandwich and a couple of those delicious pastries. Overall, good. Even like my eye is tearing from how good that food was. I don't know why. Like you know how like when you get like that satisfaction after eating, like your eyes just start to water. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. As you can see behind me is like the big main cathedral here in Milan. I don't know if we're gonna go inside. I heard it's free, but it seems like there's a lot of people. I also think there might be like some fashion week events going on here because there's like equipment behind me. But we're just gonna explore, we're gonna look around and we have to find something to eat because we haven't eaten yet. It's packed, there's so many people. I'm always down for some. We found our lunch place. We are at, oh it doesn't say, but it's Lavazza, like a little restaurant, and Lavazza is like the Italian coffee, so we're really excited. There's like a nice little coffee bar, we saw a lot of pastries, and I think we're gonna get some lunch. Yeah, I'm excited to try their coffee. Manitoco. Enjoy. We have a feast, we have, we have a lot, so we got this salmon focaccia like sandwich. Then we have this coffee experience, which is a cappuccino with, I'm honestly not even sure what this is, but it looks really good. It's like a little pot of flour, cookie crumble, flour, dirt, <laughs> a little tiramisu looking thing, and then like this that looks like chocolate. I, I don't know. And then we have croissants, so we have a jelly one stuffed with jelly and then mine has hazelnut cream. And then our experience came with some popcorn. We just left our breakfast, and Loki took him a long time to give us the bill. We were probably there for like two hours, but it was really good though. And now we're just walking around here in Milan. We're in front of this statue called Alessandro Manzoni, and it's like a nice big building. We saw this from the inside of the restaurant, and a bunch of people were taking pictures in front of it. So we wanted to check it out. But I'm not really sure what it is, but it's pretty. It's like a nice little square. 
I think right now we're gonna go do some shopping or try to do or at least go check out some stores. I think Carrie wants to buy a Gucci bag and some shoes. No, I don't. Gucci bag? <laughs> Never. But my friend here does, so we'll go. You'll see. Dress vibe though, she's making a purchase. <laughs> Doing a photo shoot, our friend just bought her dream Fenty bag that she's been wanting for the longest time. It's actually really nice. But yeah, what an event here in Milan. Yeah, now we're going to HM to go buy my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I found what I was looking for. I've been wanting a white plain t shirt. I'm gonna splurge. <laughs> Thanks to my girl Karen, found it. Quick haul. For me, two shirts for him. Yeah, I'm splurging with two. Some rings. And then some tights. We're here at the Starbucks Reserve Roastery. It's the only one in Europe, and there's only six of them in the world. They have pretty exclusive coffee blends and really cool drinks. So we're gonna have to check that out and just load up a caffeine. Feels like we're inside Willy Wonka's factory for coffee lovers. This is heavy and I don't want to spill it. <laughs> now we gotta find somewhere to sit. This strawberry dessert is literally to die for. The strawberries are so nice. They're not super sweet, but they're like coated in some like jelly. It's bomb. Mm. Try that. Guys, look at this penny souvenir little machine we just found. It's actually a pretty good price. You put in a five cent coin and a one euro coin, which I have, and you choose a little design. Oh, it got a little hard now. Oh, shit. Damn it, it's warm. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Look at that. That's really sick. Nice. Yo, look at this drink. That's that kind of view. It is strong. It is so strong. <laughs> Maybe I need to put some more. <laughs> We're getting gelato, and supposedly this gelato shop is like some of the best gelato here in Milan. Um, there's a few different branches, but we're literally right next to the Duomo. I got this milk cream gelato, it's really good. I got milk chocolate, but I wanted milk chocolate with like salted peanuts, but I was only able to say milk chocolate, and then she turned around, and I didn't get to say salted peanut. So I think it's just milk chocolate, but it's good and very creamy. We're on a mission trying to find a metro to get back closer to the area where our Airbnb is at. But the problem is that when we put it onto Google Maps, the metro station that it tells us to go to is close to like this theater and all that area is like blocked off by police and like security because there's a red carpet event actually going on. We were trying to peek and be like nosy and see if we saw any celebrities, but it was kind of far and the gates to block that event are pretty far away. So we're like walking around the city trying to find another metro station that takes us to the similar direction. So that's what we're currently doing right now. Struggling, walking up and down the streets hoping to find the right station. We made it, y'all. We found the train station. We came back to the Airbnb and we just dropped off kind of our heavier stuff. And now we're going right back out. Uh, literally, we're in and out and we're gonna go to the street right in front of the Airbnb and just look for a place to eat. Not super hungry, but just a quick bite to finish our day here in, in Milan. Karen is craving pasta for dinner. So that's the mission. I think we found our spot. They sell pasta. And it looks pretty chill. Hopefully they're not about to close. 
Karen deeply analyzing the menu. Yeah, we got a whole pitcher of wine. How much do you want? That's the, that's That's the rim? That's good. Quick, quick wine taste test. That's good. Approved to get drunk. And this is Karen's custom made plate. It's just rigatoni with tomato sauce and like melted cheese. I right, get a bite. Mm. I love how their pasta is like al dente. Mm. Alright, let me get a bite. Con quesito, ay. Se la voy a acabar. Mm -hmm. It is very al dente though. I got hummus and some olives. And then. Those bochatas. I got a rose from a secret admirer. Italian. An Italian admirer. The secret admirer is behind the cameras. A Mexican. Un frijolero. Hi. We just finished our dinner and we finished that big chug of wine and we walked around a little bit here in Milan and we found this other little bar. It's actually a pub I believe and they had a glass of wine. Definitely tastes like better quality wine than the one we had at the big jug for 15 euros, it was 6 euros. But yeah, the bus keeps going. We're having a good time in Milan. Guys, we're at another bar trying a different type of wine. We had a good time at the other one at the pub that we just left. Um, it was really good wine. Uh, we're trying a second type. Okay, it's a little bit stronger. It's from Florence, which we're staying at, and it's really tasty. And also, I'm taking this cork that I found inside of like their little bookshelf. I mean, I think it would be like a cool little memory or like a little souvenir type of thing, and it's free instead of paying like four euros for something. It's a free souvenir. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we are back in the Airbnb. We we actually went to I think three different places to drink wine. Honestly, I think the, the best wine was probably the second. It didn't feel as bad as the first one. The first one was good, but it felt kind of like cheapish, like waterish down. And the, the third one felt kind of strongish. I think the second one was the best at that pub I that we went the to. Third. I'm a little bit tipsy. I think we're calling it a night here in Milan. We hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We had a great time here visiting this city. Super nice. I wish we would have seen like a celebrity or two. Even we saw that like secluded like celebrity area with the red carpet. But we saw nobody, just basic hoes. We hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. We'll see you guys next time. I think we're going to another place tomorrow, so stay Bye. tuned. Stay tuned for the next vlog. We'll see you guys on the next video. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Three, two, one. Oh, nice. No money, it's forty dollars. <laughs> Y'all don't want to let the tax back. Hey, it's like I'm sweating. <laughs> Damn. Como la que tiene mi tía. <laughs> That's on me. Wait, let me feel it. I've never touched so much, so much luxury in my life. Ah, qué rico como mezclilla. <laughs> oh, hella sticky and everything. La borracha, we are talking. Pelgostos. It smells so nice. That's crazy. Like a ver. Buena well, riqueza. Mmm, yeah. $2,000. Yeah. <laughs> $2,000 later. Yeah, that's nice. Mm. Are you happy with your purchase, Andrea? I'm very happy. This is literally the bag. I had in mind and a screenshot of it of the picture I wanted. Oh, okay, well. oh yeah, you got The bag's passport. Mm, the bag has more papers than me. <laughs> For real? <laughs> passport and todo para llevar the bag to the US. Passport, green card, citizenship test, yeah. vaccination card. <laughs>